the two sets of players are out in front of us. Six games to go as Leicester City enter the Lions' den on a key night in the championship title race. It's the first of two away trips this week as the Foxes and Millwall take in their surroundings on a fresh early April evening. They've already won here once this season in the FA Cup. Tonight it's all about league points and everyone is vital in this remarkable promotion race. The two sets of players shake hands either side of the Skybet EFL Championship arch. You know you're at the den when this song plays, Ewan. Those empty blue seats are filling up nicely now and this is going to be a, a frantic, frenetic night, you feel. Leicester in their chain strip of uh, the light orange tonight. The Millwall team news, they're unchanged from a damaging last-minute defeat at Huddersfield. They have a big injury list. Tom Bradshaw's back on the bench for them. That is a boost. He got the opener at King Power when these two met in the league. So Sarkic is in goal for them, a back four of Leonard, Tanganga, Cooper, the captain, and McNamara. Longman, Mitchell, Saville, and Honeymoon across midfield with Fleming and Obafemi up front. From Leicester's perspective, well, Ente Maresca confirmed yesterday he would rotate his side for this trip. This is the middle game of three and seven days, Plymouth on Friday night. He wanted to protect the energy. Well, maybe that was a bit of kidology. He's only made two changes. Yunus replaces Abdul Fatawu and Jamie Vardy's in for Pats and Daka. Yunus starts on the wing for the first time in six months this evening. Now, before kickoff, we are going to have a moment's silence and Millwall are wearing black armbands. Spontaneous applause there as Millwall remember one of uh, their former players. The two sets of players in their respective huddles. Leicester to the left as we look at it. Millwall to the right. They will protect Cold Blow Lane, a very famous name in terms of uh, English football. It used to send shivers down the spine of many who played here. As uh, Ewan Roberts has mentioned, this season they've got a very ordinary home record. They are unbeaten since Neil Harris took over and he's injected a bit of the old Millwall back in truth. He stood about five or so metres away from Enzo Maresca. Both have their coats on. It's a chilly night for this time of the year. The floodlights are on and make no mistake about it. This is a huge championship fixture and it's Millwall who get the game underway and immediately they boot it long. And I sense this is going to be a night when Leicester are going to have to defend a lot of aerial balls, and they've not done that particularly well, because Wilfred and Didi, inside eight seconds, has given away a free kick, and this is a chance, Ewan, well, it, it for is. Millwall to swing it into uh, the box. I, I don't think he does too much wrong, in, in all honesty. You know, they, they go from back to front through Jake Cooper. He's looking for Zion Fleming. I think it's just an honest challenge. A lot of space to, to, to put this free kick with George Honeyman in behind him. Honeyman does whip it in, and it's a free header, and it's saved by Hermanson. Well, Ryan Longman got on the end of that, and that is where Millwall can hurt any team, let alone Leicester City, and that was a, a very dangerous early moment. Well, it, it was fortunate that it's, uh, it's landed on Longman's forehead. Second spell as manager, of course. Neil Harris started this season in League One. He got sacked. He went to League Two at Cambridge, and then he, he's ended up in the Championship. I'm not sure he's going to get a Premier League job before the end of the season, but it's a remarkable uh, feat for him as the clip towards Honeyman is very dangerous and he's brought it down. And Ricardo with some last-ditch defending. Millwall have started the better after four minutes. It's 0-0. Well, he's, he's not an actual winger, is George Honeyman. He's more of a central midfielder, but it's just peeled off Ricardo. In all of his minutes, and he's played more minutes than anybody in that midfield area, over 90% passing accuracy for Harry Winks. Now Wilfred and Didi. The two sets of fans engage in some, uh, call it friendly banter at the moment. More than 2,000 uh, Leicester fans to our left-hand side. There'll be a few more at Preston, by the way. It's Plymouth on Friday, which is sold out, 1,700. More than 5,000 tickets available. There's uh, Dewsbury Hall to Vardy. That might be his first touch, you know. And he couldn't quite get enough pace on the shot to really test Sarkic. But in the blink of an eye there, 
Leicester almost cut through Millwall for the opener. That's a magnificent, I think it's Ricardo with an incredible touch straight to Dewsbury Hall who's spotted that early run from Jamie Vardy. Set piece now for Leicester, Mavadidi into the box and it's Fleming who heads away. Winks will pick it up, charges towards the uh, right-hand corner flag into space. Fass is still forward, Dewsbury Hall will hit it, takes a deflection and that didn't miss the top corner by very much. It is a good block, it could easily have seriously tested Sarkic. I think Dewsbury Hall's first touch sort of lets him down, the ball sort of goes away from him, but he still managed to get to the ball and, and get his shot off. Leicester with some important defending to do right at the end of this first half. With the score at 0-0, here it comes from Leonard. And it's Vestergaard and Doyle who are up. Honeyman recycles the ball back to Leonard, though. And Leonard can cross that one in. Oh, Cooper's free! What a chance. Hermanson dives on it. The header lacked power. But Cooper there with a clear sight of goal. Well, if there's one outfield player from a Millwall point of view, you, you want that ball to land on his forehead. It is Jake Cooper. We're sort of going man-to-man -man in that midfield area. Mavadidi on halfway, so it's uh, Hermanson in goal, Ricardo, Fass, Vestergaard and Doyle, the back four, Winks and Didi and Dewsbury Hall in midfield with Vardy up front, Eunice and Mavadidi either side. And it's Mavadidi now, cuts it back to Wilfred and Didi, who looks up, Eunice wanted it, Eunice's header in towards Ricardo, back to Eunice, lovely touch to go beyond his man, and then his deflected shot goes out for a corner, Millwall aren't happy, that was a lovely play from Eunice there. And it will be a set piece. The first of the second half for Leicester City. It's a combination of Saville and McNamara who blocked that Eunice shot. Good build-up play. Mavadidi couldn't get the, the, the little bit of space that he wants. Roll back now to Fass. Great noise from the away end, but Fass has lost it here and he needs to get back on his feet because Millwall are countering. And they've played it down that left-hand side to Longman, who can run at Winks here. And he's got to the edge of the box, Longman, and he's shot! Oh, it's in! It's an extraordinary strike! And a solo goal, which has sent the den potty! Millwall have opened the scoring here on a key night in the championship. Leicester are going to have to do this the hard way. Millwall won. Less than ill. It's an absolutely magnificent strike. Absolutely magnificent from Ryan Longman. And since George Hennyman has gone off, he's gone over to that left-hand side to give Eze that, the opportunity to have this right-hand side, the young substitution. He lets the lose possession. He picks that ball up. He's got Harry Winks closing him down. Winks forces him inside. Doesn't get close enough, don't get me wrong, it's still an absolutely magnificent strike. He couldn't pick that ball up in his hand and place it any better. Absolutely no chance for Mads Hermanson. Needs to change in the next 27, plus added on time. Fast in towards Dewsbury Hall. Turns very nicely away from his man. Doyle joins the attack. Here is Mavadidi, another chance to run at Leonard. Onto that right foot. Leonard... He's had his number so far tonight, but he can change in the blink of an eye. Here is Ricardo. Ricardo! Oh, that's a dangerous cross which the goalkeeper Sarkic dived on and uh, did well. Good hands from the goalkeeper. So that's well put across the six yard box from Ricardo. Plenty of pace, plenty of power. It's easy to spill them out. And it was a good chance to counter attack. I just look at that other side, that right hand side. You've got Dewsbury Hall and Fatsu. Here come Millwall though with Obafemi, he might be around fast, he is! And Hermanson saves to his left. How key is that moment? Obafemi in on goal, couldn't finish, and Leicester is still very much alive in this game. Just can't cope with his pace, with his upper body strength, even though he's a lot smaller in stature. He's so strong as Michael Obafemi, and once he's got through on goal, you'd expect him to score. Points are so important. We'll see in the next 19 minutes. Mavadidi to Ndidi. That's a brilliant cross and arriving on cue, really. 
was uh, Abdul Fatawu, but his diving header has gone well over. That was a brilliant ball from Ndidi. We've seen that so often, normally bursting from the right, but bursting from the left on this occasion, and that is Leicester's best chance of this second half. Millwall 1 0 up. Ian Acho offered himself once and then twice, and on the second occasion, snuffed out. and. Fleming looks for Obafemi, it's a good pass, Obafemi's been forced wide here, he had the chance to make it too, he's uh, passed that to Essay, he gets it back a little fortunately, and then he rolls it back here to Mitchell, 14,000 Millwall fans telling that a uh, Leicester player was closing in, Leonard bursts into the box and crosses in, and it just evades Longman, any contact there and at surely 2-0. Yeah, that's a magnificent ball from this right-hand side. And it all starts with a really strong, good ta tackle from Tang Tanganga. I think he's been exceptional. Leicester haven't yet forced him into a, a good save. Ian Acho with a golden touch. And Mavadidi closed down by Essay. The young man's come on with real purpose for Millwall, having replaced Honeyman, who got injured. It's with Justin again. And Leicester need to know that Whoever's on the ball in the attacking position isn't going to have a second on it. Pratt here, he's released Ricardo! Sarkic makes the save. That is Leicester's best chance of the night after 82 minutes. Oh, they get opened out for the first time. It's a great late run from Ricardo. Pratt, that's a good-looking ball towards Ian Hatcho. He can't get on the end of it. Millwall clear to Bradshaw. And now Essay has it. Essay with a quick feet. Great challenge from Ricardo, not for the first time tonight. And the referee actually gives Ricardo a free kick. He's going to book Savile. That was exceptional. How Ricardo has come away with the ball there, I do not know. Well, it was a frustration from Savile. He thought the ref should have given a free kick to them. And it, it wasn't on essay. But what a chance. A good save, to be fair. Hasn't had too much to do. Sarkic keeps it low. Plenty of power from Ricardo. Just the whole impetus of the attack goes. But here we go again. That cross field pass towards Mavadidi. Leonard is there. Scoops it forward towards uh, one of the changes. Norton quickly here. He's up against James Justin and he's running down the right hand side. Lesser do well to win it back and fire it into midfield. And Dennis Pratt. And Pratt looks up. It's Fatawu here who had the header. But in open play here, his first chance to run. And he's done so magnificently into the box, pulls it to Ian Acho off the line. That is heroic defending. How on earth has Billy Mitchell kept that out? Leicester looked like they'd scored. That's a great run, magnificent pace. I think it's Mavadidi again, isn't it, with the header, as he did on Saturday. I mean, it's magnificent from Fatou. Lifts it up. See an actual you are spot on, Chris. Mavadidi, crossfield pass. And he's picked out Fatawu here. Onto that left foot. What can he create? He goes for goal. Cooper blocks it. And the ball reaches the other giant centre half on the pitch. Vestergaard. Fass again. Here's Dennis Pratt. Three minutes of additional time left. Great ball to release Fatawu here. Across the face of goal. And Millwall clear. It's a defence splitting pass down that right-hand side. And it's on Fatamu's right foot. And it's not the best cross. For the great ball in with his left cross, uh, with his left foot, Ian Acho's header. That one with his right wasn't quite as good. Back with Fass. Two and a half minutes left now at the Den on this Tuesday night. Mavadidi scoops the ball in. Header is one. Comes back to Dewsbury Hall on that left foot. Lovely ball to Mavadidi. What's he got? Mavadidi goes for goal. For a second, you wonder whether that was going to fly into the top corner, but it's wide. Well, we've seen him do it on more than one occasion this season, Steffi Mavadidi, but for me, he had too much to do. He's a bit far out. He's got a defender right in front of him. A few bodies in front, front of him as well. Sarkic is taking all the time in the world. Too much time he's booked. And it's right by the referee. He won't mind. Leicester will just hope that the referee's added on the time. They don't care about the yellow card. 95 and a half minutes gone here. 
We've seen some very late goals in the championship this season. And Leicester achieve the same tonight. Bradshaw won the flick on, but it's back with Vestergaard and Justin now on halfway. Again, that square pass to Wout Fass. Millwall fans already whistling. There's a way to go yet. Pratt short to Fatoui. Back to Pratt. Great run from Dennis Pratt. He's got there. He's lifted the ball in his Dakar's header. It's wide. It's another good chance for Leicester. Deep, deep into added on time. Well, created more chances in the last two or three minutes than the entire game, to be fair. Oh, the den is loud now. 30 seconds of the seven additional minutes to go. There should be a bit more than that, but that'll be up to Sonny Singil. Sarkic clatters it forward again. And uh, who's won that? Millwall have. And they go right to the corner flag. Well, that's where Norton Cuffey's tried to put the ball. He's in a foot race with James Justin. It's a throw for Leicester. Ten seconds potentially left in this game. Leicester need to get this ball forward. Here is Justin. He wallops up towards halfway. It's with Millwall, though. They've won the ball. And they're trying to create something themselves. Or waste a bit more time. They're pointing to the clock, saying time's up. The referee agrees. And Millwall win the game. And Leicester, after the elation of the weekend, are brought back down to earth in this remarkable promotion race. They've come to Millwall and they've been beaten. Ryan Longman's fine, fine individual goal, the difference. Leicester's chances came late. They couldn't take them. And it is a defeat on the road in South London. Full-time score. Millwall 1. Leicester 0.